Hi, today I want to show you how to do a double-sided print and cut with Silhouette Studio. The first example I'm going to use is an A2 card. The secret to double-sided print and cut is symmetry. So the first thing we want to do is have everything symmetrical on the front of our card. So I'm going to use a cutout and some text and I'm going to make sure that it's centered on the front of the card. And a trick that I use, because you can't center on the front of the card once you've welded it together, is I just draw a dummy rectangle that's the exact same width as the card and lined up with it. Then I can center on this. So I select these three items. And I go to the Align window and click Align Center and I make sure they're aligned. And you want to make sure that the bottom rectangle isn't what moves when things are aligned when you do this. Okay, so now you can get rid of this and you want to select all of your card. You want to group it and then you want to align everything to the page. This one step here is the secret to successful double-sided print and cut. Now we want to save that which will be the outside of our card. And then we want to do a save as so that we get an exact duplicate for the inside of our card. Okay, so now we're working on the inside of the card. We're going to ungroup it. We can get rid of our logo. And get rid of our circle, but before we do that, we will use it to determine where to place our owl. And then this text we will use for formatting purposes. So when we have that how we want it, we'll move that and then the inside of our card is ready, almost. We can turn off the registration marks because we will only be printing this side. We don't only, only need to print and cut the front side. So this is ready to print and when we print it we want to note which side comes out of the printer first and which side comes out last because if the owl comes out of the printer last as we expect then she is going to go into the printer first when we print the second side. That's a little tip to make sure you get the front and back aligned properly. So that's the inside ready to go. Now I'm going to go back to the card we saved earlier and I'm going to print this again with the owl or whatever came out last going in first with the blank side up using the registration marks. Once I've printed that on both sides, then I'm going to load it onto my mat and do a print and cut. So I need to check my cut lines and I don't want the text to cut, so I need to ungroup this and turn the text to no cut. And then that's the cut lines I do want. So now I'm ready to cut this and it will give me a successful double-sided print and cut. So that's all there is to the card example. I'm going to show you a simpler example of a token that you want to use to fill the page. So let's say we want to do these circles. All we have to do is drag one to the page after we've designed it, select it, go to the replicate window and click on fill page. And Silhouette Studio does something interesting here that I discovered. Not only does it fill the page, but it already centers this whole group on the page. So it saves us all those steps. So when we get ready, we'll save that as the front. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll save as the back, just to work on the back. Well, then we can delete all of that. This circle here was the same design, same size, just without the text. I can put it anywhere on the page, click Fill Page, and now I've got an exact copy. And, and I can fill this in with balloons or whatever. I can copy and paste however I want to do this. I do the same thing I did before. I turn off the registration marks, fill this page, print it. And if I go back and open the front side, 
you'll be able to see that these are exact front and back duplicates of each other. So it's really easy if you use the replicate command because that does the centering for you. That's all there is to two-sided print and cut. Thanks for watching.